Hi there guys, this is the average Joe. As you can see, I've brought a whiteboard today with me because I want to start a small series of uh, videos about engineering, what you need when you want to buy to build a house and I want you to understand what is in the mind of the engineer. Uh, this video came to be because one of my best friends wants to build a house He's in the process of building a house and um, He ended up on the hand of some very shady contractors That was saying to him that he doesn't need anything. He only needs the property lines to be drawn in order for him to build the property and now he's he realized uh, he's making a mistake mid construction he realized he needed permits he realized he needed plenty of things and right now this might be bad for him and i really wouldn't want you guys to make the same mistakes so for the first topic, uh, we're going to talk about uh, why you need a land survey even before you start your project. Why does your structural engineer and your architect ask you for a land survey even before everything starts? Before I start explaining to you what you will find from a land survey and what you can get out of it, and why the architect and the structural engineer need it please subscribe to the channel give a like to the video and i'm going to start in just a second so guys the question that was put by the shady contractor was why do i need a land survey before we even start discussing a project before either I as a structural engineer or the architect can make a proposition okay let me explain to you we're going to use a very simple property let's say you have a property with this shape you have the property boundaries and when your property boundaries were um, set you had to get a land surveyor and he actually marked these points okay i'm going to use another another color He, he actually said, probably, when you got your property line set, you probably got these four points and maybe one or two points along this line and maybe another point here. Now, one thing you have to know is uh, we work in both two dimensions x and y and three dimensions when you have something in two dimensions if you look at it from a from one side it looks like a sheet of paper usually the property line points at least in the area that I live are set in 2D are set in two dimensions which means that you only get an X and an Y so the lens so they can draw the property lines 
Now, the problem with this is, um, for example, if you draw a section through here, we'll call this section 1, 1. If you rely only on the two-dimensional points from the land surveyor, you will get basically a straight line. No information about how your terrain looks. In reality, 99% of the land plots are not a perfect straight line. So your actual terrain will probably look something like this. Okay, so the problem is that with only the property line points you do not know the exact, exact shape of the terrain. This is why, at least in the area where you want to build, on the plot area where you want to build, if not on the whole plot, you need a detailed survey. This detailed survey will bring up a mesh of points. For example, in the area where you want to build. And through the, this mesh of points, you will get three, three dimensional points, which means that. Um, These points will also have a known z-axis. This known z-axis will give you the exact position for these points on the shape of your terrain. Okay guys, the thing is that if you do not know the shape of your terrain you cannot really design a house um, because uh, if you do not know the actual shape of your terrain if you are building a generic house that you consider to be I don't know this generic house and you consider this to be the terrain level and you do not have a survey many times you end up with a situation like this so the foundation If you've set the foundation like this, your house will tilt. It cannot be built. It can be built by, by the ear, but you will probably get into it some costs that are off the chart, especially trying to remedy all the stupid things that a shady contractor did so the first thing you need 
when you want to go to an architect or an engineer is the land survey the detailed the next thing that you will need because on the basis of the detailed land survey the architect will be able to draw sections for your house. The next thing you will definitely need is a is a geotechnical study. But about this, we're going to talk in the next video. Hope you like this video, guys. Uh, please understand, architects and uh, structural engineers are not here just to ask a lot of money from you and ask a lot of papers from you. They are here to help you solve your problems and most of the time the engineers and the architects actually want you to get the best results for the least amount of money. It's not about skimming you for the most part. I know there are cases that are not like this but in my case whenever I have a client I try to find the best solution for him both as um, a financial solution and a um, how should I put it uh, efficiency over time because there's no point in building something extremely cheap if you're going to have to remake it every year that's not good if you build something a little bit more expensive I don't know, 5% more expensive, but it will hold you 20 years. We'll just make a study and see if you only need it for you to, for it to hold it one year, we will design accordingly. If you need it, if you want a house, we will design it with your best interest in mind. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a like. Thank you and see you next time.